Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how I use flags, stars and colors to make my selects after a photo shoot in Lightroom. Theme tune! Do 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 boo 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 do 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 I'm gonna get really dizzy today. Okay, let's go backwards. Okay, so I might be a little funny in this tutorial because I'm dizzy now. Anyway, so before we jump into Lightroom today, I just want to talk about a few things. Lightroom allows you to catalog your images in so many different ways, and that's why it's so powerful. So imagine this, you've done a photo shoot, you've got 400 photos, and the client wants five, or you only want to keep five to post on Facebook or whatever. Okay, so how do you actually select those five? Do you just troll through them all guessing and hopefully you'll get to the best five and just do it that way? Well, I've been shooting and processing images for over 10 years and I've slowly developed my way of doing it. Now, you might have your way and there may be other photographers out there that have their way. This is my way and definitely after processing hundreds of thousands of images, literally that many, this works best for me. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. So here we go. Today, we're gonna to be using these images here that I did for a client just last week, I think, for Mona, which is the Museum of Natural Art here in Vegas. So it's a really cool venue, a, a location shoot, essentially. So I've imported the images, and I can see I have 195 different photos. So say the client wants 20. How do I do this? So first of all, you would go into like this view so you can flick through. Let's go to the very beginning all the way over here. And then you could just flick through and hopefully get to the right ones, but that really doesn't help you. Instead, the first thing I do is I use my flags. So that's these over here. Now the shortcuts for these are P, for pick, so that gives it a, a good flag. It's U for unflag, which leaves it as nothing, and X means uh, gives it the no flag in terms of I'm gonna delete it. So I would use my keyboard to do this, and I basically set up with my hands on my keys with my one finger on the P, one on U, and one on X using two hands, like so. And essentially I'll go through, and this first stage is really quick. So if I like it, it gets a pick. If I don't really care either way, it gets an unpick and a U. And if I definitely hate it, then it goes to X, which is discard. So I'll essentially whip through and I do it really quickly. So like this, so I like this, I like this. I like this better, so I'll go back one and I'll unpick the one before. Like this, I like this. Don't really like this. Like this, but I like this one better. Don't really like this, but I like this. Don't like, like, like. Okay, here we go, there's some great ones here. Unpick, pick, I like that one, I like this one. Don't like this one, kinda like this one, don't like this one. Don't like this one, this one's great. This one is out of focus, I can just zoom in here and see. Um, so I don't want any image which is out of focus. Um, so we'll unpick, then we'll pick, it's nice, that's nice. This is nice, unpick, pick. Okay, so now we're gonna quickly look into this one and if we just select the filter down here to only the flagged ones, let's have a quick look. I have literally gone from 195 down to 67 potential images. Super, super simple. Now the next thing I do is now I start adding in my star ratings. So now I'll go through all of them exactly the same again and this time I'll star, I'll either one star or zero stars because it's already on a zero star. So for this one, for example, not that keen on this one, like this one. But I can now flick between the two and go, which one do I like more? I like this one more, one star, leave this one at zero. Definitely love this image, not so keen on this one. Definitely like this one, it's great. Like this one too, not so keen on this one. Awesome, love this shot. Not so bothered about that one or that one. This one, love it. So now I'm just adding my star ratings. That's all I'm doing now, is I'm whipping through and doing all of my stars. So now I've gone through all of my one stars and I know that all of these ones are good enough to be seen by the client, okay? All these ones are, yep, the client could definitely see these and I really like them. But they're not necessarily the greatest photos yet. So let's come in here. So now I will add on this star rating here. Click on my stars and now I'm down to 24 photos. So now I'm gonna go through again and I'll hit one star or two stars. Give this one a two star. One star, one star, two star, two star, two star. So these are all the ones that I absolutely love doing, okay? 
and I'll leave some in a one star and others at a two star. So this one and this one, I'm just gonna leave as one stars. This one here, I'm gonna go, I love it, it's a two star. Mm, not that keen on that actually. And this is gonna be a one star, a two star, sorry, two star, two star, I love this, one star, no. Uh, make this a two star, a two star, a two star. Don't love it, one star, love it, two star, and a two star. So now we're gonna come back in and then we'll actually click on two stars and see we're now at 16 images. So really quickly, we went from 195 to 16 images and it took me probably five minutes. Now you might wanna spend more time when you get to the star rating section. Now at this point, if you needed to go further, now you can add on a three star. Now the advantage of this is this, if you then get to your two stars, you're like, oh, I only have 16 images, but they want 20. Well, if you hadn't have done this and you would have just gone back to the flagged or even no flagged, then essentially what you'd have is 195 images to go through again. But instead, if you select flag and one star, you can see that, oh, there's 24. So I can go through and only look at my one stars, okay, by clicking this, okay, is equal to one star. So now it's gonna get rid of my two stars and I can see that these ones here are ones that I liked but I haven't actually selected to give to the client. So I'll go through and go, you know what, I can give them this one, I'll turn this into a two star and I'll turn this into a two star, for example. So now we could come back in, take go away from my equals and go to greater or less than, equal to or greater than, sorry, and now I can see I have, sorry, my two stars, I have 18. I didn't bother going through and selecting all the other ones. But you can see that we're starting to do that. So now I'm in this catalog, this is actually what the, the final catalog look like. And I can actually go through and go, okay, so these are my, all of my images. You can see I got 195 and I can click through now. Let's just look at my flagged ones, okay? And in fact, let's get, I've also got my star ratings. So all of my flagged ones are here. Okay, and they also include ones that were only one star. And then if I hit one star, now we have all of the images that were flagged and one stars, and we're down to a total of 40. And then with my two stars, I'm now down to a total of 22. And then these are the ones that I edited. So these are all of these images with the edits on. I just wanted you to see what the edits were like. So you can see here, beautiful, it's very gyp set. Um, which is Gypsy Jet Setter, very cool looking images. And then what I might want to do is categorize them using color ratings. Now to show you color ratings, I'm actually gonna jump into my other catalog where I have tens of thousands of photographs to show you how I do my color ratings. So here we are in a larger catalog. You can see here, I actually have one, two, three, four different hard drives connected to this with all sorts of hundreds of different shoots with tens of thousands of files going on. So essentially I can go into any one of these, like this one here, and I can go, cool, show me my one star ratings. And inside my one star of 800 photos, I have 135. But then I can come up to two stars and I have 80. I can go three stars and I have 67. I have four stars and then I, uh, I go all the way up to five star ratings in this image, okay? And I have 23 images of five star ratings, okay? Which is absolutely awesome of this model here. But what else am I gonna use my colors for? Now colors are vital, these are down here. And I'm gonna show you on the side here, I have collections. So for example, inside my collections, I could go to uh, my beauty shots here, and you can see here, these are all beauty. And what you can also see is all of these are five star ratings because they're just taken from my folders, five stars being the best images. So these are all great. But what about the color ratings? Well, I run this site called stockpick.com, which allows you to download super high resolution images. So if I go to stock pick just here, and then I come onto my published images, I can see, I know that all of the images that I've published to stock pick are green. Now these can have any amount of star ratings from one to five or flagged or not flagged, but they're all green. So for example, if I flick through here, let's choose an image to go to, let's pick one of these up here, and we could go um, this image just here, right? 
This is green, it's also four stars. Um, I'm going to right click on here, I'm gonna go, go to collection, okay? So you can see it's in five different collections, okay? It's in lifestyle, it's in my electronic press kit and it's under published. But I can also go to folder in library. So it's now gonna open this and I can see that it's on my Macintosh HD and it's in a folder called Vegas Strip. It was taken there. And I can now go through and look at all of the other images from that collection and any one that is green, I know I already have in my stock pick collection. So that means that I've basically merged my flags, my stars, and my color ratings. Now it seems really confusing, but once you start doing it, it really is simple, especially for making your selects from one single shoot. Anyway, I hope this really helped you. If this did help you, give me a thumbs up, definitely subscribe, and if you do things differently, why not leave me a comment and tell me how you do it? Okay, anyway, this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.